Prime Minister Narendra Modi is set to inaugurate the Semicon 2024 India in the Greater Noida today at around 10.30 a.m. He will be addressing the gathering on the occasion as well. It has been a long-standing vision of the Prime Minister to position India as a global hub for semiconductor or design, manufacturing and technology development. The conference will last for three days and showcase India's semiconductor strategy and policy, which envisions making India a global hub for semiconductors. Well, joining me live from Expo Center, Greater Noida, is my colleague Manohar Kesri. Manohar, very good morning to you. And as we can understand at this point of time, the India 2024 Semicon is going to be inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi shortly. What is exactly the key point where uh, you know people have uh, the expectations from the Semicon? What can we expect as India's uh, India's becoming of the global hub? For uh, for the semiconductors is concerned. All right, viewers. While we just try to restore the connection with our colleague who's coming live from the Expo Center in the Greater Noida, let me also bring in my guest, Dr. Sharath Kodi, who's a senior economist at the broadcast. I appreciate you joining me on the broadcast, sir. Thank you for speaking to NewsX. Right now, in this context. Uh, what is your expectation from the Semicon 2024? What exactly should be uh, also eyed as what are the key expectations that India should have from uh, becoming as a global hub for the semiconductors? Well, good morning, Simran, and good morning to the viewers of NewsX. I think the expectations are, are quite high because uh, India uh, coming forward as a semiconductor manufacturing hub I think the world is looking at, we all know that more than 60% of the global market share is controlled by the Oriental region, which includes Taiwan, China, Japan, South Korea. The US has near 12% global share. So Europe practically contributes nothing to the semicon market. So I think India emerging as a hub is being looked forward by rest of the world. I'm, I'm only leaving out the Oriental region for that matter. But the whole world is looking at India because you know, the dominance of this region we have seen has caused shortages. We have seen supply chain disruptions in the past during COVID. And this is one product mm. for the viewers of NewsX, you know, who want to know. There's something which you can't touch, but you can't do without. Mm. It is practically inside every single electronic device that you are using. It is practically inside your entire digital world. The medium at by which we are communicating right now, Simran, is being driven by a semiconductor chip. You know, mm. my, my own laptop your system, everything is being driven by semiconductors, something which we cannot do without. A lot of people do not emphasize it's as important as the staple food for a common man. So such is the paramount uh, as far as importance is concerned. And Prime Minister has only realized this much before, which is why 76,000 crores of Philip has been given by government as part of Semicon Mission 1.0. We are expecting more incentives. They are already three to four, rather more than that. Uh, projects which are in the pipeline a lot of foreign investment simran is expected in this sector a lot of big industrial groups in india have shown their interest some challenges are there you know challenges challenges like ecosystem challenges like power and water supply challenges like hmm. talent pool because this, this requires very high degree of skill so i think the focus of this particular uh, uh, event would be on meeting these challenges and how to overcome these challenges finding solutions to these challenges. The size of investment we all know for a semicon plant is quite big. I think all these would be addressed in the in the particular event mm. in Greater Noida we are talking about. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mr. Kohli, also, uh, how would you like to detail upon the fact that as far as India's broader strategy uh, to enhance the semiconductor output and achieve the self-reliance is concerned, what are uh, going to be the key discussions and also, especially at this point of time, at the Semicon 2024, what is exactly going to be India's share into promoting the push for the semiconductor being the global hub? I think India is going to position itself as a global hub in the times to come. Maybe not now, but in the next few years, we will see the first semicon chip rolling into the market from India within this year. And I think that will be a huge landmark as far as India is concerned. As I said earlier, Simran, India's focus would be on in semicon 2024, attracting investments from abroad, encouraging more and more business groups to come forward to manufacture because 
the government is lending support government is lending a helping hand government is coming forward with incentives i think there will be a lot of industrial houses who would like to come forward to take the benefit of these incentives and you know as far as the dominance of taiwan china japan and korea is concerned we all know that the world is heavily dependent and the moment this disruption happens you know the whole world can come to a standstill such is the risk to supply disruption i think the semicon 2024 is definitely going to address this it is going to address the challenges uh, similar which i mentioned about because environment as i said is a huge challenge uh, not many people know that these chips need large quantities of water and the discharge from the industry is not very environment friendly hmm. so these are the challenges power supply and a huge challenge similar which we are facing right now is skill development we we know that chip development chip manufacturing requires very high degree of skill so i think semicon 2024 is definitely going to address as to how india is preparing itself on skill development where india can become become a manufacturing hub as i said attracting foreign investment would also be a focused area in semicon 2024 similar hmm Mr Kohli also uh, very important to look at that the government has also offered 50% subsidy on the capital expenditure for setting up the plants in India's major push to become the global hub for the semiconductors but uh, in your opinion what does it mean for the tech giants including Micron and CG Power and Kinase to establish the chip units in the country how easy it is going to be or facilitating it is going to be for these major tech giants as far as that concern is being concerned here i think it's a it's a big opportunity for these global giants 50% subsidy being given by the government a lot of technical and other clearance support being extended by the government is a golden opportunity i think any big tech manufacturer including tsmc which is the largest in the, in the world at this point having 22% of the global market share is a, is a big opportunity we know the size of chip market at this point of time is more than half a trillion dollar it is growing at the rate of more than 13 to 14% per annum by 2034 2031 simran we are expecting the global chip market to be 1.3 trillion dollar and india itself hmm. is a huge market we have a middle class of 70 crores and you know every single thing that we use today has got to have a chip from car to a mobile phone hmm. so i think these these giants should look forward to india in two ways to answer your question one setting up manufacturing hub where india is laying a red carpet for them two india by itself is a huge market and i can add the third dimension also that the cost effectiveness in india is going to be a major one india can beat china and taiwan in cost going forward as we see these synergies working out similar for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon